What if instead of the recursive form, we want the general term? So what we're going to do instead is we're going to compare this to the default general form, which is an equals d times n minus 1 plus a1. So if you know what a1 is and you know what d is, then you can get your general form. Well, we know both of those. Here's our a1 and here's our d. So the general form for this particular problem is an equals minus 5 times n minus 1 plus 3. And I want to make this real clear real quick. This works very similar to linear equations in two variables, where our output is equal to our an m times x plus b. m is very similar to d. In fact, it's the same as d. d is m. This b part gets a little bit funny because n is 1, so x is 1. When n equals 1, that's the same as when x equals 0, which is why we have an n minus 1 here. So this is kind of like the intercept. The a1 is kind of like this intercept, so long as you keep this piece of information in mind.